Hey Biscuits, how is your day going? I thought I would gossip with you a little bit while I am, let me go put this in the little box to go downstairs for trash. Um, while I am getting ready to film a really fun episode for OnlyFans. So something that got super requested for my OnlyFans uh, short films has been to do a contemporary romance series that is more just fun homemaker vibes and household chores and just getting back to basics because I love to do cosplay, I love to do paranormal romance and sci-fi and this has been the topic that both on Patreon and OnlyFans have been most asked for um, of just getting back to basics and having fun with their homemaking and of course on OnlyFans and Patreon you know having a little bit of extra fun um, so I thought I'd bring along, I'll do some behind the scenes, of whatever I can show you, whatever is YouTube friendly. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to see kind of how I do this whole process. So that's a little fun behind the scenes of how I film some of my kind of vignette short films for OnlyFans. This one was a contemporary fun kind of at-home homemaker one, which I'm just now branching out into making. I've always done narrative, you know, stories off of my romance novels, and this idea, this kind of style of just really cozy homemaker vibe videos for there um, has just been requested again and again, and I thought, you know what, I'm all about cozy. I'm all about comfy and in our skin and just having a blissed out time at home. So I thought this works perfectly for that. But I love bringing you biscuits along and showing you kind of what goes into all the creative field. I know that a lot of creatives are very secretive. I know that I've gone through phases where like, I don't want to show anybody anything that's not edited yet, no raw footage. I don't want to tell people what my ideas are unless they're working directly on the project. And I don't know why we creatives are like that, <laughs> but we most definitely are. Like, I can't deny that that was true. That is completely 100% true. Um, and I like to be transparent and have fun with that and show kind of what goes into all the work behind the scenes because I know I love that kind of juicy, fun, goody stuff. Um, some of the YouTubers that I've followed have slowly transitioned over into some TV things and I wish they would show more behind the scenes of what that's like. Um, I know most of us in the digital universe, it's such an odd time to be in the digital universe, isn't it? I feel like every app has had an identity crisis, doesn't know what it wants to push with its algorithm. Every algorithm has shifted and I don't know a single content creator that doesn't feel like it's not as fun as it was five years ago. Um, and I wonder how much of that has to do with fatigue from all the last couple of years and how much of it is just that the ecosystem has changed so much. Um, and I know I was feeling that and that's kind of what got me to be motivated to start doing my short films again is, you know, I, I filmed like non-romance but like action or adventure or something. Uh, 
independent movies before and boy I just really missed the fun of it and I really like OnlyFans. Um, I know people use it for different kinds of content um, of all sorts of varieties which is awesome but I really like that it's got less rules for what it pushes or what, what you're allowed to post and things and it just seems less, censored isn't even the right word, it seems less stifling. I like a non-stifling work environment. Um, and I think that's fun. And it's fun to share it on here too because I love YouTube and I want YouTube to get back to being fun. This is my goal. I think you biscuits have noticed with this new channel how much fun I'm having with it. Like I'm just leaning into all the vibes that I want. I'm, you know, I'm going with the style that I want to go with. I'm creating what I want to and it's been very fulfilling to do that. So I'm glad that I made this decision because it was a big, I was like, oh, do I have time to do this? And I thought, you know what? I, d I don't have time to not be inspired. So I'm going to make time to feel inspired. I'm going to see you over on uh, OnlyFans. I'll see you on my Patreon page, which is a great spot. Ooh, oh, yeah. To come in and join our wonderful, powerful community of self-care, fun, and burlesque. And as always, I'll see you on more cleaning videos on here. 